Hello dear viewers and welcome to Pharmacy D. We are back again with another informative video and we are going to talk about tuberculosis known as TB. TB is a potentially serious infectious disease that mainly affects your lungs and usually caused by bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. TB is an abbreviation of the word tuberculosis and is how people often refer to the disease. Just a few years ago, it was believed that TB was an old disease and that it was no longer a problem in humans. But now, because of such issues as drug resistance and HIV, it has become a major problem again. Talking about the epidemiology, globally, more than one in three individuals is infected with TB. According to the World Health Organization, there were 8.8 .8 million incident cases of TB worldwide in 2010, with 1.1 million deaths from TB among HIV negative persons and an additional 0.35 million deaths from HIV-associated TB. In 2009, almost 10 million children were orphaned as a result of parental deaths caused by TB. The five countries with the highest number of incident cases in 2010 were India, China, South Africa, Indonesia, and Pakistan. India alone accounted for an estimated 26% of all TB cases worldwide, and China and India together accounted for 38%. Discussing about types of TB, there are three types of TB. Number one, active TB. Active TB is an illness in which the TB bacteria are rapidly multiplying and invading different organs of the body. The typical symptoms of active TB variably include cough, chest pain, weakness, weight loss, fever, chills, and sweating at night. A person with active pulmonary TB disease may spread TB to others by airborne transmission of infectious particles coughed into the air. Multi-drug treatment is employed to treat active TB disease. Number two, Mallory TB. Mallory TB is a rare form of active disease that occurs when TB bacteria find their way into the bloodstream. In this form, the bacteria quickly spread all over the body in tiny nodules and affect multiple organs at once. This form of TB can be rapidly fatal. Number three, Latent TB. Latent TB occurs when a person has the TB bacteria within their body, but the bacteria are present in very small numbers. They are kept under control by the body's immune system and do not cause any symptoms. People with latent TB do not feel sick and are not infectious. They cannot pass the bacteria on to the other people. In addition, they will usually have a normal chest x-ray and a negative sputum test. It is often only known that someone has latent TB because they have had a test such as the TB skin test. Risk factors for TB. You are at risk of TB infection if you are around people with active TB disease who are coughing which releases bacteria into the air. Most people who are infected with the bacteria that cause TB do not develop active disease. The following factors increase the risk that latent disease will develop into active disease. Infection with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS and weakens the immune system. Diabetes mellitus, low body weight, head or neck cancer, leukemia or Hodgkin's disease. Some medical treatments with corticosteroids and immunosuppressants. Silicosis, a respiratory condition caused 
by inhaling silica dust. Causes of TB The mycobacterium tuberculosis bacterium causes TB. It is spread through the air when a person with TB whose lungs are affected, cough, sneeze, spits, laughs, or talks. Symptoms of TB Although tuberculosis is most frequently associated with symptoms involving the lungs because the disease most often affects the lungs. It can affect any organ of the body. The disease can cause a variety of symptoms. People with latent TB infection have no symptoms. The usual symptoms of TB include fever, chills, night sweats, cough, loss of appetite, weight loss, blood in the sputum, loss of energy. The symptoms may be mild and may not seem particularly worrisome to the patient. In other people, the symptoms become chronic and severe. Now I'm going to share a list of lab tests that leads to the diagnosis of tuberculosis. Number one, tuberculin skin test. Number two, chest x-rays. Number three, blood test. And number four, sputum culture test. Treatment and medications for tuberculosis. If you have active form of the disease, you need to take a number of antibiotics for six to nine months. Four medications are most commonly used to treat it. Ethambutol, isoniazid, pyrazinamide, and rifampin. The treatment of latent TB is considered by many people to be an important part of TB prevention. Generally, treatment of myelary tuberculosis is similar to the treatment of pulmonary tuberculosis. Antibiotics are given usually for six to nine months unless the meninges are affected. The antibiotics are given for nine to 12 months. Corticosteroids may help if the pericardium or meninges are affected. Surgery is needed for some complications of myelary tuberculosis. Completing treatment is essential. After a few weeks, you won't be contagious and you may start to feel better. It might be tempting to stop taking your TB drugs, but it is crucial that you finish the full course of therapy and take the medications exactly as prescribed by your doctor. Stopping treatment too soon or skipping doses can allow the bacteria that are still alive to become resistant to those drugs, leading to TB that is much more dangerous and difficult to treat. To help people stick with their treatment, a program called Directly Observed Therapy or DOT is recommended. So viewers, that's all about tuberculosis. If you find this video informative, then please share it and subscribe to our channel Pharmacy D and keep following us for more such informative content. Thank you.